Welcome to day six of my stick mobility program. Today we are closing out this second week with explosive balance and stability. We're going to be using these sticks to create force that we have to both control and resist. For this workout, you're going to need the full stick mobility bundle, which is two long sticks and one shorter stick, and I'll leave a link in the description below for where you can get yours along with a discount code. You're also going to need an anchor point, such as the wall, and you may want a bolster or a cushion for your knees. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click the bell for notifications, like this video, and be sure to come back to this stick mobility program playlist for day seven. So today we are working with the entire stick mobility bundle to do explosive balance and stability, dynamic balance, because we're going to be moving in and out using single leg balance a lot of the time. We're going to be doing a lot of hinging. So if you want to work on your deadlift, this is a great workout for you to get stronger and also to really be making sure that you have that hip hinge movement down. Grabbing my short stick, I'm just going to start by making sure I have the hinge exactly as it's supposed to be. So I'm bringing the stick behind my back. One hand is right about the small of my back and one at the base of my neck. And you can even hold the back end of the stick. And the whole point of this is just to get that additional feedback of where you want to hinge. So. Uh, your hip width apart, you're spreading the earth with your feet, and then you hinge back. If you're doing this correctly, then the entire part of the stick is against your head, your in between your shoulders, and at about your sacrum. If you find that when you're doing this, this happens and you have a whole lot of space here, then you're not really hinging, you're just bending forward, right? So, you come back up, and again, you're just trying to find the placement that allows you to hinge. So if I come this way, you can see. I do have space here where my hand goes up against my back, but it's touching my sacrum, it's touching my shoulder blades, and it's touching the back of my head. So if you also find that you're doing this, your head is getting too low. So you just, it's a great tool to just get that basic feedback on whether or not you've got this hinge down. So I really enjoy checking that out and making sure, oh right, okay, this is how I wanna hinge. First steps first, right? Because we're doing a lot of hinging today. I'm gonna use the longer stick to again do a hinge, but now we're gonna hinge and slide. So I bring the stick end to one of my hips, feet are a little more than hip width apart, and again, I'm going to hinge. And this inside hand is gonna slide down the stick, just to wherever feels comfortable. But this is a pretty deep hinge, right? If I go this way, I have the stick here across my body. I'm hinging. One more here, just like that. Hinge down, slide that hand as far as is comfortable for you. So already we're getting the body primed and prepped for this position. Before we switch sides, I want you to widen that stance just a little bit. We're going to do the same exact kind of hinge. Hinge back, slide that hand down, and now the same knee that the hip, the stick is on, you're going to bend that knee. Try to reach and straighten that knee. Bend the inside knee. Woo. Really feel a beautiful stretch in that hamstring. It's extended. Come back up. Let's do one more of those because it felt really good and it's very similar to getting into that ninja flow or the slap shot with the sticks. So again, one end of the stick is just kind of right at my hip. I don't have to hold real hard. It doesn't have to have an anchor point. You're not really pushing the stick anywhere. You're just going to slide your hand along the stick. So 
wider than a hip width back, uh, stance. And here we go, hinge that hip back, reach. So when I'm here, my head is still right in the center midline of my body. And now I'm gonna bend that outside knee. The stick will move with me, that's okay. Come back up. Bend that inside knee. And return to center. Switching sides. I'm just going to step over to the side. Starting at about hip width. Right, I have that stick angled out and across my body. It's just resting right here at my hip. And I'm going to slide, hinge the hips down while maintaining this kind of midline position. So if I want, I can add a little bit of stretch here. You'll feel that in the inside quad. And come up. Let's see if I can go from this position. And slide, hinge, and return. One more, just like that. Butt pushes back, hand slides down the stick. Now we're going to add on with that wider stance. And this stick is across my body and in front. I have a nice wide stance. Hinge those hips back. And now I'm going to add on. Bend that outside knee. Feel the inside, that inside leg line stretching. And then switch. Back to center. One more just like that. Hinge back. Slide the hand along the stick. And outside knee bends. And inside knee bends. Again, we don't need an anchor point here because we can let the stick move just that little tiny bit as the knee bends. We're just gonna do some hip cars. I'm gonna use the shorter stick. You can certainly use a longer stick as well. So pushing this stick down into the ground, and we're gonna try and just really warm up the hip joints. Pushing that stick down into the ground. I'm gonna lift my knee up. We're gonna be in this position for a lot of the workout, right? With this A knee uh, elevated. Now I want you to open up out to the side. The stick is here to give you an assist for any kind of stability, right? I also have this wall right here for me. Feel free to use it. I'm gonna open my hip up, woo, trying to get my ankle in line with my knee. And then I'm gonna press back creating a great big circle. And now we're gonna do the reverse. Kick that leg up, out, in, and down. Let's go for three more. Knee comes up, open out, kick that hip up. You can see how much my hip wants to rotate to get this ankle in line with the knee. Back. And reverse, up, open, whoo, ankle comes down, in, and down, whoo, already warming up, two more of those, up, open, ankle up, press back, and reverse, press, open, 
open the hip. Close the door as it was. And down. Last one on this side. Thinking about pressing the stick down into the ground. Shoulders are packed down. If you're way up here, there's too much of your neck and shoulders working. So press that stick down into the ground. Up, open, controlling this movement. And back, up, ankle goes down, inside, drop it down. Definitely feeling that, already warming up those hips. Same thing on the other side. Pressing the stick down into the ground, the bottom end of the stick is a little bit closer to you to create that natural arm line that we have. Knee comes up. Open out to the side. Lift. Whew. And kick back. So if you cannot get this high, don't worry. That's fine. And return. You go to where your hip allows today and maybe push into about 10% discomfort. The more you do this kind of hip cars work, the more range you'll get and the easier it is to move into these positions. Definitely challenge yourself, but don't worry about trying to get your knee all the way up here, up here, wherever it goes. If it's much smaller for you, that's still great work. Here we go. Knee up, out to the side. Notice the toe is pointing out. Ankle up. Right, I can't do this side as high, so I just bring my knee down so I can get that ankle to match while still maintaining this upright position. Push back. Here we go. Woo. Using that stick to give you the assist. We've got two more here. Knee up, open out. Angle up, push the knee back and around, back, ankle down, knee inside. Whew. One more of these, knee up, open out, ankle up, trying to keep myself upright. If that means your knee goes down lower, that's totally fine. If that means you need to hold on to the wall to give you that assist as you go around, do it. Here, here, in front, and down. Whew. Shake it out. Oh my goodness. Grab some water if you need it. Already feeling warm. Hips are awake for sure. So now we're gonna get into that hinging position with two sticks. I'm gonna set this guy aside over here so it doesn't get in the way. And I'm gonna be using this part of my wall, right? So I have these two long sticks. <clears throat> Again, the sticks are angled closer to you adjust this mat. Here we go. So the bottom ends of the sticks are closer to you and we're going to be doing that hinge. So I'm going to start with my right leg. We find that hinge position. Come up, knee up and then you're going to hinge back. Find where your foot hits the wall. You should be relatively close to the wall so you still have a bend in that back leg, in that lifted leg. So we're here pushing those sticks down into the ground, you're just going to come back up to standing. Three more, just like that. Just getting used to this position. 
And I want you to really think about pressing your foot into the wall as hard as you can. You can really put some effort into pressing into that wall, pushing those sticks down into the ground. And up. Exhale on your way up. Here we go again. Pressing the foot up against the wall, pressing those sticks down into the ground, and lift. We have one more here, just like that. Find the wall with your foot. Nice hinge, push those sticks down into the ground, and lift. So now, we're gonna add on this little bit of explosive power. Same movement, but I want you to move explosively, right? You're just gonna to try to move quickly while still maintaining stability and balance. We are on one leg, we have the sticks to assist, but the faster you move, the harder it is to control. So the goal here is to see how fast you can move while maintaining that control. And again, this is the kind of thing that the more you work, the better you get at it. So here we go, pushing those sticks down into the ground, right leg is up, um, push back, find the wall, I'm really pressing my whole foot into the wall. So my posting leg is pressing down into the ground, sticks are pressing down into the ground, we're gonna hold here for three, two, one, and up. Yes, we got one more, just like that. Find that hinge, press as hard as you can, that foot up against the wall, shoulders are packed down, pressing the sticks down into the ground. Here we go in three, two, one, up. Beautiful. Take a second. We're gonna stay on this side so that we understand what this is, and then we'll go over to the next side. So now, we're just taking a step forward, right? It could be a small step, it can be a large step. A lot of this will depend on your height, but the further away we get from the wall, the greater the hinge is. So, if I'm here, knee comes up, press back, I still have a little bit of a, a soft bend, in both of my knees. Four, slow and controlled. Understand this movement. And then we'll do two that are dynamic and explosive. So pushing your foot into the wall, pushing the sticks down into the ground, and up. Three more. Find the wall, press that stick into the wall, or press that foot into the wall, sticks down into the ground, and up. Take your time. If you're already getting a little wobbly, you can inch back a little bit more towards the wall. If you find you need to hold on here with your elbows bent, that's totally fine. You just want to make sure that you're still hinging, right? So adjust the sticks so that you're still in that hinged position here and up. Two more. Make sure you're set and nice and slow. Up with control. Last one. Slow and controlled. Pushing that foot into the wall. That posting leg is probably burning. And up. Take a breath. We're doing two reps. You're trying to go explosive off the wall. So you're really going to press into the wall with your feet and lift that knee as fast as you can with as much energy and strength. Knee up. Kick out. Find the wall. Press that wall with your foot. Shoulders packed down. Here we go in three, two, and one. That exhale coming up really helps. Try to make sure you're not leaning too far back. 
You want to stay in this beautiful, tall, upright position. Last one of these. On this side, pressing your foot into the wall for three, two, and one. Take a breath. Already we're getting into using max effort here because the control required to bring your knee up into this single leg standing position, it's hard. So, guess what? Still on the same side, we're gonna take another step forward. Does not have to be a huge step. If you find you cannot touch the wall anymore, move backward. You wanna still be able to reach the wall, but it's literally like your foot is, your, your toe is trying to find it. That back leg that's pushing on the wall is straight now. You have four slow and controlled. So you're pushing the sticks down into the ground, pushing that back foot into the wall and slow and controlled lift up. If you feel like you need to adjust, now's the time. Take a moment. Knee up. Find the wall with your foot, woo! Right, and then really press. Even if you only have the balls of your feet, you can always take a step back. Or as you can see, I am bending that front leg, that posting leg a little more to create the pressure and stability so I can actually put my whole foot on the wall. Here we go. Nice and slow and controlled. Two more. Find, woo! So I notice that I'm leaning forward, right? I can always take a step back. And part of that is as I hinge, I'm anticipating, right? So I'm here, staying upright, reaching, there's the wall. Push the wall with my foot. Nice bend with my front posting leg. Push the sticks down and lift. One more. And lift. Now we've got those two explosive. Find the wall. Press that, that foot into the wall. Press your posting leg down. Nice big bend. Make sure you're not just falling forward. What would happen if you didn't have these sticks here? Try to keep yourself upright. Here we go. Press for three, two, one, up. One more, just like that. Press for three, two, one, and up. Take a second, shake it out. Whew. You can feel the work actually in both legs, just differently. So we're gonna switch sides. Gotta do all three of those versions. And obviously, the further away from the wall that you are, the more difficult this becomes. So if any of this is too difficult, just move a little closer to the wall. The wall is your friend. It is your anchor point. It is here to assist you. And it's really a great feedback tool that we don't use very often when training, even though we have them, why don't we use them more? So coming back close to the wall to start out. Sticks are about 11 o'clock and one o'clock. Feet are together right at 12. I'm gonna lift my leg, kick back, find the wall. I'm very close to the wall. I have a bend in my posting leg. I have a bend in that bent in the leg pushing into the wall. Here we go. Nice and slow for four. Just get to know what this feels like. 
even though we have the foot on the wall, it is still single leg balance. And up. So you may not be using full force as you push your foot into the wall here. You don't have to yet, but the more you do it, especially as you gain speed, the more effort it will be. Okay, one more slow and controlled. And up. Now we have two explosives. Find that wall. Feeling that hinge, right? From here, hinging backward. Push that foot into the wall for three, two, and one. One more. Push that foot into the wall for three, two, and one. Take a breath. We're going to take a step forward. Same move, same position. We're just a little further off the wall. So this is an often used kind of position for RDLs, deadlifts, getting comfortable here. Just move my mat. Is really important. Here we go. More of a extension in that back leg. Slow and controlled, we've got four. Three. Notice if you start to fall forward, right? That's pretty natural, especially as you get tired. But does this look quite right? No. It's also not nearly as stable. So you can always reset. Find that hinge. Feel the wall against your foot. And up. One more. Now we have those two dynamic hinges. Pressing that foot into the wall, pressing those sticks down into the ground. Press, press, press for three, two, one. Here we go. Last one of these. Press, press, press for three, two, one. Beautiful. You'll notice grip is worth working here, core. Taking another step forward. Move the sticks accordingly. You're going to lift that leg. Hinge back. Find your airplane. Oh no, am I way too far away? I think so. No worries. Just readjust. Hinge back. Find the wall. Pressing those sticks down into the ground. I can go somewhere in between so I get that, that leg long. And lift. Reaching back. And lift. Two more here. Slow and with control. One more, just like that. Find that wall. Push the wall with your foot. And two explosive reps. Find the wall. Push, 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 push for three. Two, one, up. If 
your, knee, your arms need to come in, that's totally fine. One more here. Push your foot into the wall. Push those sticks down into the ground. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. Take a second. Shake it out. It's a lot of work. We're going to be using one stick. Similar, pro pro uh, similar concept with this hinging. Now we're doing one stick, so it's going to be more complicated. Less stability because we have less leverage. Whew. Setting one of these sticks aside as well. here but it's such important balance single leg balance it's a really great practice to bring into your training because if we don't use it we lose it right so you're going to use the wall as an anchor point one side. Pushing that stick into the wall. <clears throat> so now the stick is not moving right now. <clears throat> I'm moving. My body's moving. I don't know that that's going to work for me. Let's go here. The stick is staying right where it is. I'm going to hinge. Whether it's up high, if it's up high, it's gonna be a little harder, but you find that anchor point. I'm gonna start with my inside leg because I think that's harder for me to have the inside leg posting. So I'm pressing that stick into the ground. I'm gonna hinge back. I don't need to have that huge long distance from the wall. We've just changed this. So start by going back to that easier position, more comfortable position first. The more you get used to this, the more you practice, you can always move further and further off the wall. But just for this particular workout, we're gonna stay relatively close to the wall for these where we use the anchor plane. So inside leg posts, pushing that stick into the wall, outside leg lifts, press back, Feel the foot against the wall here, and you're pushing the stick into the wall, into that anchor point, and already, if you're really using the stick to maintain your stability, this might be happening, right? So you want to think about using the stick as an assist, but imagine what would happen if you don't have it. Right? If you don't have this pressing into the wall, all of a sudden, you have to stay upright on your own. Press back, find that wall, and up. Two more. Pressing that stick into the anchor point. Lift up. One more, slow and controlled. And already, if you notice, I like having this sort of ruler mat here because it really helps me see if my body starts to tilt. One more. Press back. Push that foot into the wall and come forward. We've got two more. And this time we're gonna add in that dynamic explosive movement. So you're pushing the stick into the wall Press, press, press the foot into the wall as well for three, two, one. Because there's less stability here, you may find you mean. It's okay. This is what we're here to explore. 
We've got one more just like that. Up, hinge back. Press that foot into the wall. Press the stick into the anchor point for three, two, and one. Beautiful. Shake it out. We're gonna switch feet. So staying right here, outside foot will be the anchor. It'll be the posting leg. Here we go. And hinge back. Find the wall. Try to stay upright as if you did not have this stick here. And lift up. So it's here as an assist, but you shouldn't use it like you need it. Practice having control without it. Three, one more. Up, now two that are explosive. Pressing that stick into the anchor point, pushing the foot into the wall for three, two, one. One more, just like that. Press for three, two, and one. Take a breath, switching sides. So I'm using my anchor point over here. Same basic position, starting with that inside leg. Inside leg posting. Outside leg lifts. This is where I have a tendency to want to lean into the stick. So I have that awareness, I just have to work on it. Up and kick back, find the wall. And lift. Find the wall. Lift. Two. One more here. Okay, feeling good. I'm gonna add that explosive repetition. Pressing back, find the wall, press your foot into the wall, press that stick down into the anchor point. For three, two, and one. One more. Three, two, and one. Because the inside leg is posting, you're gonna have more tendency to lean forward and lean in towards that stick. So here we go. Outside leg posts. Inside leg lifts. Kick back. And press one. Two, slow and with control. Press that stick into the anchor point. Foot is in the wall. Three, we've got one more. Four, now add in that dynamic movement. Press into the floor, into the wall for three, Two, and one. One more. Press, press, press for three, two, and one. Whew. Shake it out. Take a moment. Any pops or clicks, adjustments that you may have. Are welcome they should not hurt so we're getting into the same movement but now we're going to make it a little more complicated right same positioning I'm still gonna get my foot up against the wall but now this stick is even right 
I'm gonna have my elbows bent right about here. You can also do this straight if that feels more comfortable or you wanna challenge yourself further. So just so I can use the ruler, or I'm gonna be right about here. Starting with my right leg, kicking back. I'm not using the wall for my hands, right? So I'm just holding on to this stick. It requires that I be stable, right? So I'm finding that hinge position, right? Here we go. And up. Hinge back. Two. We'll go one more here. Press that foot into the wall. Hold on to the stick. Now we're gonna try for three in that explosive movement. If we are not holding onto the wall, that foot is pushing into the wall. Press, press, press for three, two, one. Woo! Pretty wobbly. This requires a lot of ankle stability. Here we go, two more, just like that. Press that foot into the wall for three, two, one. One more, just like that. Press for three, two, one. Woo! Posting leg is feeling the heat. We're gonna switch sides. Same thing. You'll notice one side, it's, this is easier, right? One side you have better balance. Totally normal. That's why we're practicing this to help rehab those kinds of imbalances. Here we go. Other legs can kick back. Hinge. Nice and slow. Lift. We've got two more. And lift. By now you've already recognized, is this the easier side? For me, I think it is. Here we go, lift. Now we're getting into dynamic, explosive movement. Press that foot up against the wall. Hold that stick. Press for three, two, one, and up. Here we go. Press, three, two, one, and up. Adding on the complexity again. We're gonna be doing six reps, three slow and controlled, three with that explosive movement. So the only thing that's really changing is where the stick is. Instead of being in the center, It's gonna be long lever. The inside leg is gonna be the one that pushes back. Elbows are bent. So we're here already. Because of this long le lever of the stick, you feel the weight pulling you down this way. If you need to, you can always adjust to where it feels a little more manageable. That's totally fine. The further out to the end you go, the more complex and difficult this is. So that inside leg is going to be moving. Again, we're all about finding balance. We wanna be able to get back to this knee up position. Woo With control. So pushing back, breathe, hinge, Press that foot into the wall and lift. Okay, I can do this. Here we go. Two more. And lift. One more. Lift. 
Now we get into that explosive work. Hinge back. Elbows are bent. Push this, the foot into the wall for three, two, one. Here we go, two more, just like that. Wanna make it harder, go further to the end. For three, two, one. See the tiniest bit of difference in where this lever is changes how much work it is. Elbows bent. Push that foot into the wall for three, two, one. Woo. Posting leg is on fire. We're gonna switch sides. <clears throat> that inside arm is also doing a lot of work. Outside arm has to control the stick, but in this long lever position, it suddenly becomes a whole lot more work than when it was even. So same position, I've just changed the feet and the lever. Find that knee up, press back, Whoop. I'm not sure that my walls are in a line. Here we go. We have three, slow and controlled. My left leg posting is harder to maintain my balance, so this is great work. Go further over to the edge. One more. Yes. Now we have those three explosive reps. Here we go for three, two, and one. Woo. Press foot into the wall for three, two, and one. One more. Press three, two, one. Woo. Take a second, shake it out. Adding on again. Tiniest things, that one little change makes such a drastic difference. So with any kind of training, every little bit, everything you change makes that session completely different. Even if you feel like you've done these same movements before, you change the timing, you put shoes on instead of doing it barefoot, you go outside instead of in a gym, that changes how your body's gonna respond. So now we're going to bring the stick into an anchor point. Actually, I want to do one where we have our arms out straight for these. Again, really hard. Just holding this with the long lever is incredibly difficult. We feel the weight wanting to pull us down. So just one with our arms extended long on each side, knee up, press back for three, two, and one. Whew. Already, you can tell how much harder that makes it, right? We'll do one on this side as well. Here we go. Leg comes up, ooh, arms are straight. Leg comes up, this requires more balance. Kick that leg back, find the wall, push for three, two, and one. You can see that the stick wants to wobble a little more. So now we're gonna add on again, but we're using an anchor point. So I'm gonna stick the stick into the base of the wall. Inside leg will be moving. I'm using sort of a calf grip to push the stick into the wall. And you can have your hip in line, or you can be just a little bit inside. Same thing, 
hinge, press back, find the wall with your foot. And now I want you to bow the stick with that inside arm. So you're using your own force that we're gonna have to resist as we come back up. Here we go. Nice and slow. Three, two, one. This is hard work, right? Come back, find that anchor point, press back, and press. So you're really using that inside arm to press and bow the stick. Here we go. Press, press, press for three, two, and one. Woo! A little wobbly, that's okay. One more. There's already so much going on, we don't necessarily need to also try to make it faster. Once this is easy, then you can add that kind of element in. Press that stick down, bow the stick for three, two, and one. Woo! Ha ha! Again, it'll be easier if you keep those elbows bent. Going to the other side. Last difficult exercise. Pressing that stick into your anchor point. Sweat. Here we go. Hinge back. Bow the stick, so you'll notice you're, you start to get a little lower. You bend into that posting leg to get this bow. For three, two, and one. Ooh, this side is tough for me. I'm gonna move a little closer inward toward that anchor point. Two more. Find that hinge, press back, feel the wall with your foot. You're pushing that foot up against the wall. Bow that stick. Press for three, two, and one. Better. Have my elbows bent on this side. That's okay. I'm gonna try to get them straight this time. We'll see how we go. stick, creating force in the opposite direction that I want to go. Here we go. For three, two, one. Woo. Almost. I'm going to do one more just like that. Sometimes you hit the wall. It happens. Knee up. Find that hinge. Bow the stick. Here we go. Press for three, two, and one. Ooh, ha, did it. Whew. Fantastic work. We're gonna get into a cool down here. I'm gonna use the shorter stick just because of my space. Coming down onto the ground. I'm gonna grab a bolster or cushion for my knee. Get a, little, get a little bit closer. So I have one foot. I'm half kneeling, pressing that stick into an anchor point. Also, this is a great opportunity to show you. You can always use this stick. If you find that you have to lunge or kneel with one leg out or this kind of position, set yourself up first. Create that alignment here. So I'm gonna leave that one there. Use this stick as the anchor point. Right. 
bringing both hands across my body, shoulder pack down, release that outside arm, twist back behind you, one more time, reach across the body, twist back. And now you're going to press up, twist through, and up. Press that outside hand up, twist through like I'm trying to touch the bottom corner of that mat, and then reach back behind, open. Nice. Switching sides. Switch the anchor point to over here. Same movement. So the stick comes between that kneeling leg and foot and that posting leg. And it should create a nice straight line here, right? Because I have a little bolster, you might have to move it to make sure you've got this kind of alignment first. And I already see I'm a little further away than I'd like to be. So just readjust. Beautiful work today. Not an easy workout, but really great practice in getting into this single leg balance. I'm gonna have to go further. Now we've got it. Here we go. Arm comes across the body. Outside hand twists back behind you. Press that stick into the anchor point. Reach across. Open up. Nice thoracic. Twist here. Outside arm is going to reach up. Thread through and across. And then open up behind you. Yes, your shoulder will feel this. You're pushing that stick into the anchor point. Return. Press up. Reach through. Here we go. Press up. Reach through and back. Whew. Beautiful. Last exercise, just a little couch stretch. I'm going to be using the wall. I have this uh, bolster here for my knee. I'm going to press this one foot up onto the wall. I have this stick here to give me extra leverage to get into this kind of position, wherever it feels right for you, whether it's on the side of the leg that's working. So I like to lean forward into that front leg, feel that in the hip, and then press back into the quad. Lean forward, and a little monkey hang here, and press back into the quad. One more. And gently release, switching sides. You can bring your foot up against a couch, a wall, whatever feels comfortable to you. I like to start in this kneeling position and then use the stick as an assist to get me into this. And again, out to the side, out in front, whatever makes you feel the most safe and secure. This is just an assist. So pressing forward. 
Let me feel that in the back hip. And then press back into the quad. Here we go. Press forward. Get a little hang. And press back into the quad. One more. I hope you enjoyed this workout. It is a doozy and it's a wonderful way to challenge yourself even if you just take little pieces of it. So I'd love to hear how you got on in the comments and I'd like to know how you're doing with this stick mobility program. We're halfway through now. Officially, that was the end of week two. So congratulations. Thank you so much for being here and I can't wait for day seven.